All right, everybody. Hey, welcome to the Public News Podcast. I am welcomed here by the Hoods. You guys fucking thank you so much for coming here, first of all and foremost. Thank you, man. Yeah, let me introduce Ava, too. Ava, she's going to be walking around here. So, hey, man. Uh, hey, it's her birthday tomorrow. It is? Yeah, How old she going to be? Years old. Oh, nice, yeah. She's working always, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, you do your thing, man. So, hey, introduce yourselves, guys. I'm Mike. I sing for Hoods. I'm Andy. I play bass for Hoods. Get the mic close to your face, you fuck. <laughs> Yeah. We were talking before the interview, man. You guys been doing this, what, how long? Fuck, since I was 19. I'm 50 now, so 20 years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So what's it like, man, having to have the music that, that you love take you all over the world, man? Fucking weird, man. Yeah? Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's something you don't think about when you're playing hardcore, especially, because it's like I've done probably about 3,600 shows. We used to do like maybe 220 shows a year for the first 12 years of our existence. So we put the fucking pedal to the pavement. Fucking Mexico, Canada, motherfucking Japan, China. I've been everywhere. Uh, except for Australia. We're coming to Australia the next year. <laughs> but um, yeah, hardcore is cool, man. It's like what we do. Like like this is a Thursday night. And we're hanging out with you guys. This venue, by the way, is fucking rad, man. I used to do this shit called methamphetamine. And I can imagine myself doing some shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a bad way. I got ADHD, so it balances me out, so I'd actually be all artsy and stuff. See, there's Ava. She's going to yeah. come in and chill out. Sorry, yeah. I ramble a lot. That's I got right. ADHD. Yeah, like, we we played uh, we, we played a run of shows in Mexico last year, and it's like, we're playing this this tiny little town, like, in the middle of the desert called Queretaro, and, like... Oh, man, that shit was scary. Yeah, and, and we're so far from any... Any anything that we're familiar with, or that we really, you know, you, you know, and, and here we are, like playing a hardcore show, and what's happening? People are dancing. Hey, you know, it's weird. It's going to Japan. Fun. So did they, they get circle pits in Japan? Beat my foot down there. Do you think now you can do it? Yeah, yeah, it's got, all good. yeah but um, not when you go to Japan. They fuck each other up. It's cool. They, they dance hard. So, so what? Uh, you've been all over the world, man. What's your favorite place to play? Fucking Poland. Yeah. Czech Republic, Poland, yeah. I'm, I'm My grandfather's Czech. My grandma's German. My mom's British. But I like going to Czech Republic because they fucking, they fuck, they know I'm Czech. So it's like when we go there, it's like a big thing. Just like if we go to Ukraine, they fuck with him, you know? Yeah. Nah, no, Poland's really good. Mexico is fucking dope. Puerto Rico's fucking dope. Um, St. Louis is dope. They're all kind of like third world countries, you know? Newark, New Jersey. Holy shit, man. Have you guys been to Newark, New Jersey? Yeah, I've been to Newark, yeah. No, I say it weird. Newark. Yeah, I was I was in Not Baltimore for thirty years. So you were what? I was in Baltimore for thirty years. Ooh, that's yeah. a, ooh, you got the sidebar. <laughs> I played the sidebar probably ten times in Baltimore. Sidebar, yeah. That's where the corner started, and then they had that other show called the um, the Wire. Yeah, yeah. Baltimore's one of the the toughest cities I've ever seen in my life. Baltimore's fucking rough. I'm from Oak Park, Sacramento, California, which is the king of fucking anything fucked up north. Uh, we run everything any on any facet, whether you're in this, whatever you're involved in. But um, our city's pretty tough. But yeah, that's that's a rough fucking Baltimore's a different beast. Yeah, yeah. one of my first uh, tours of the hoods going on about seven years ago now. Oh shit! Um, yeah, yeah we we played this uh, we played this Chinese restaurant oh, like yeah. after hours in Baltimore. No Dude. joke. Favorite part of the night though is we were hanging out at we were hang, hanging out up front after the show and. We see this dude just fucking just j- j- just beating the shit out of this guy like all the way out the door out the door of the building. It's like oh, he's yeah. hitting him and he's kicking. And he's just what fucking happened? him up. Did he and crush his smokes like... or something? Did you guys ever play eight by ten in Baltimore? No, we always play the sidebar. Sidebar or that other place, uh, Bogies, uh, the one on the main strip. <laughs> yeah, we played there with Hate Breed a bunch mm-hmm. of times. Candiras, uh, fucking E Town Concrete. What about DC, you guys would go down <laughs> DC, to I hate, I club? fucking hate DC. What, that, what's it called? The, the 930 Boston? Club? Yeah. But I hate playing DC. DC's <laughs> like playing LA. Your shit's getting broken into. You gotta have a homeless dude watch your shit. <laughs> like Miami. You go to fucking Miami, people are like, oh yeah, fucking Miami. You got Pitbull and all these fucking John Lee Guanzamo and what's that dude from uh, uh, Ricky Martin? <laughs> uh, hey, we were in Puerto Rico. Yeah, we, we played fucking San Juan, Puerto Rico this one time. We played Puerto Rico like five or six times, different times. And fuck, we were, have you ever been to Puerto Rico? No. On, in San Juan, all San Juan, there's the top of the hill. Bacardi means bat, by the way. You know, a fucking bat, the supposed corn fries. We won't get into politics. Bacardi means bat, but we were in Puerto Rico. We were doing hella cocaine. And we played some show, and fucking, we were drinking. I don't drink hard alcohol, and I was drinking rum and Cokes all night, and we were fucking 
bent on some good coke. <laughs> and fucking, here comes Ricky fucking Martin. No shit. Yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I was like, yo, what's up, bro? But um, they, it was like, hey, blah, blah, blah. what are you doing? And I was like, yo, we just played the fucking the rinky dink cricket bar up the street. What are you doing? He's like, I'm about to do a little La Vida Loca. It's fucking Puerto Rican fucking. There's this thing once a year, they go into the ocean at 6 a.m. to bless the ocean. And here I'm hanging out with fucking Ricky fucking motherfucking Ricky Martin. And you know why I like him? So I'm better looking and I'm taller. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, he's better looking, but he's a little bastard. He's tan, so I'm like, why do you tan? You live in Puerto Rico. So, so people are gonna see this. Oh, where? You know, where, where can you? Uh, where can they go see you guys after? Where are you guys headed now? Fuck, I don't know. Um, we're supposed to go to somewhere tomorrow. I think inland, but we're going to Big Bear. But well, Big Bear we gotta go cool. through the snow, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Are, are you going down to San Diego? No, nah, we're playing San Diego next month or in June uh, at Brick by Brick. With Brick by Brick. Oh, yeah, we're going to be down. Hey, you guys should come to that show. I'll get you guys in. I got like a fucking 20 people guest list. Fuck yeah, I'll go down there. Yeah, yo. Hell hey, yeah. San Diego people are cool. Like, you people are cool. Oxnard people are good in my book. And Tehachapi, shout out to fucking Die Hard Youth and all those dudes. Andy Die Hard, motherfucking, you know, you guys got Oxnard Nardcore shit. This shit is like, you guys are like, we never got the shit on the, the West Coast like these people on the East Coast got. Like, the credentials, like, sick of it all, agnostic front. If you weren't from New York City, you weren't shit in the motherfucking... The, the 90s and then all of a sudden we took everything back over and then people are starting to recognize seven seconds and fucking ill repute and shit like that and fucking dag nasty we're a, a doctor no and you know i see your poster he's oh, got yeah. mdc coming yeah mdc's originally from texas but they dave dichter that's my singer homie tell him i love him but not not like that he, i told you already <laughs> yeah. earlier he always tried to grab my ding dong and i'm not sure oh. you can look that up in german it means something in english that i'm just not <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Oxnard, man. Like, aggression, Stalag yeah, 13. Yeah, aggression, Stalag yeah. 13, fucking yeah. aggression. Ill repute was the shit. No, the Mystic Samplers, you remember yeah, the Stalin 13 played here. Yeah. Ooh, Bad, Vito, Bad yeah, Samaritans. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Samaritan. oh, yeah but Bro Broken Society, my old punk rock band, did a tour with uh, Stalag 13, like, 20-some-odd years ago. Yeah. Dude, like, like, six days. Were down those dudes on heroin? Well, at the time, they seemed... They, they seem pretty chill. They seem like they had it kind of Boring. pretty much together. You know, I always like touring yeah. bands that are like on dope and shit. We fucking, <laughs> we brought, this band hates me. I'm not going to say their name, but we brought them on their first U.S. tour. It was us. It was Dying Fetus Hood. Um, they're, they're like a bigger band, but um, <laughs> I beat one of those dudes up to do with all the, the things on his, the tattoos, the shit tattoos yeah. on his face. Because they kept showing up late to the shows. They were doing this shit called methamphetamine. I was like, what the fuck is that? And I was like, probably like 30 fucking five, I think. And I was just doing coke and shit, you know, I was like doing blow, whatever, you know, it's normal shit. And these motherfuckers were late to the first three fucking shows, and we're direct support to Dying Fetus at the time. I'm like, yo, you motherfuckers be late one more time, I'm gonna fuck you up, right? And they're like, yeah, sure. So, so the next show, I tried some methamphetamine, and I caught them doing methamphetamine. I beat them up for being doing methamphetamine, being late to this first shows, three shows prior. But that's when I started doing that shit for a couple weeks. And, man, it was fun. But, yeah, dude, we fucking wrecked those dudes. I'm glad you weren't there, man. We went through the whole band. Their drummer tried to grab me and I punched him in his eye and he started bitching. Like, oh, oh, man. Fucking, oh, those dudes are pussies. <laughs> Louisiana. Oh, man, I love it. Love the honesty. Those team. guys are fucking dorks. <laughs> hey, you had head PE here. Yeah. Fuck, Fuck dude. Yeah. How old are those guys now? Um, but he's... Uh, about 55 he fucking Dude, killed yeah, cause it he I just turned 50 it. man and I'm like yo these motherfuckers are still playing I'm like holy shit and like half the bands I know died or fucking you know just died <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know? head like, P was fucking badass man they were really badass why Why do you call your club Miss Olsen's uh, that was the original name this, this, this place has been here for 50 years Has it? Is, was it always artsy no, no, I, I I did all that. Was man. it all bland and shit when you moved here? Because no, all this other shit, the yacht club and the dildos up front and the German vocals. <laughs> Who's got all these fucking creepers? Holy Jesus! You got like eight million dollars in Doc Martens and creepers. And oh yeah, I got I got a serious shoe Jesus, collection. Jesus, man, man, somebody's five eleven. What's that? That's just somebody's five eleven. What's that mean? Oh, well, that means when you're five eleven, you're always trying to be like one of the stars, so you can tell everybody. You're hey, fuck you, tall. bitch! I'm four foot <laughs> seventeen. I'm just fine. But hey, I'm fucking. 5'11", and Fucking that eight. sucks. Because nobody believes me. They think I'm 5'6", because I say I'm 5'11". <laughs> Your oh, interview's six, going three. down the tube. No, but, hey, Miss Olsen, great. that's cool. Man, you've been here three years then? Well, no, I've been here 50 years. I, I took it over. My dad got Alzheimer's. I was back east. Oh, man, and Alzheimer's. I was, uh, that's I was running a rough from one. back east, and then 
I, you and know, you COVID ended up, hit. This place is dope, dude. Yeah, COVID hit, and I just ended up staying here, fighting the government. And dude, the weather here is fucking, like, really humid and shit, but the people are cool, man. Shout out to Medela. <laughs> Amen. Hey, maybe we could get some Medela sponsorship, dude. We go to Mexico right. a lot, dude. We play Mexico, like, three times a year. Like, we'll go down to Mexico. See, we were just down there, and fucking, I'm, like, walking around and shit, and there was a big-ass thing floating in there, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? It was ash. The fucking volcano erupted the, the morning we landed in Mexico City, and our flight got delayed like three hours. Remember we showed up there? They were fucking... It was wild. It was like raining and shit for like five minutes, like fucking crazy. Then the fucking... The sun came out like seven o'clock at night, and then it got dark again. And I'm like, what the fuck? And they're like, oh, the volcano's about to go off again. And I'm like, what time are we on? I'm like, man, we better time this shit strategically because I'm trying to sell some shirts and get the fuck out of being titty, man. I'm trying to go to Guadalajara and fucking hang out down there because the weed's legal. You know, and the federales don't try to pinch you for a fucking eight ball, you know? Right. Or sell it to you. But we, we, we got to cover down there. The, the crazy thing about Mexico City is everybody's like, oh, are you scared to go down there because you might get robbed? I'm like, you know who books our shows when we play fucking Monterrey, fucking Mexico City, Guadalajara, Hermosillo, fucking Tijuana? Go right the road, whatever. Fuck yeah. off, puto. Uh, go, yeah, they're all the, the the fucking guy who books our shows in Mexico City. You go in his office, he's got a fucking gold plated AK forty seven in the corner. And I don't do that stuff no more, except that one time last yeah, time. Yeah, he's got like snack packs and like. Yeah, he's got all the shit ready for you, dude. Shit, he's got yeah. fucking, snack packs. He's got Pedialyte <laughs> for the next morning and shit. If you even go to bed, but they don't step on it, so you you know you usually end up falling asleep, get the little drip. It's like yeah. <laughs> Hey, the first thing, as soon as I get here tonight, I seen a bunch of my old boys, and they're like, yo, what's up, Mike? And I'm like, nah, man, hell no. I fucking did that shit in Mexico a year ago, dude. It was great. I was, so you said on stage, yeah, if you got any weed, we'll, so we'll smoke uh, afterwards. You got any coke, don't I, give I it to me. I fuck around, dude. I, if people think I'm on it all the time, but I've just got really badass ADHD, and I'm like this all the time. So it's like when I actually do cocaine, I'm like, it makes me fall asleep. When I used to do speed, I would do fucking lines of crank the size of a number two pencil. And I would fucking fall asleep for an hour. And then I'd be up for like fucking two days, three days, and just be like super fucking focused, like washing my car, turning my microwave into a fax machine, doing cool (laughs) shit, you know, cleaning my sneakers. I never do that. Fuck yeah. Well, hey, man, dude, hey, we'll wrap this thing up, dude. Hoods, Hell thank yeah, you guys Mrs. so Olsen, much for coming. Guys are crazy. I appreciate you guys fucking Thanks, killed Matt. it tonight. Hey, when you come back around, if you're anywhere near, dude, please come back and play. Dude, again. yeah, come to San Diego. Hey, and how far is LA? It's pretty close to here, right? About 45 minutes. Depends on traffic, LA, could be two hours. I think we're playing LA on June 12th. It's a Monday. Well, shit, come back up here and play on a Tuesday. Maybe on the way back, yeah. Hey, what we'll do is because Bobby's my homie. Yeah, if you guys don't know Bobby, Bobby, that dude who looks like Charles Manson, that dude's fucking crazy cool. He sang with you the last song, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah he looks okay. like, it, I, his nickname's Charles Manson Stunt Double. He's the one, the first thing I get out of the van, he's like, what's up, man? He's, and I'm like, fuck, last time we came here, we got here at fucking four in the morning last time. We left from the bar. We got here at fucking four in the morning, and we fucking lined up some fucking, it was Switzerland. We were all, yeah, we had broke our nose and did that whole thing that Kenny Powers and we were drinking, but we probably drank like 30 or 40 beers before like 7 in the morning because we were fucking, you know. And by noon, we were just like, yeah. second round, we were just like, start drinking and eating. I definitely took by the sh- By the time we played that <laughs> fucking show, it, dude, I was that. fucking just like, I get out of the van, I'm like, again, yeah, here we go. And then I was just like, after that show, I slept for like, like at least 10 hours. Felt like 10 minutes. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Olson. Hey, thank you guys so much, man. Thank I appreciate you. you guys. Thank you, man. You're going to have a fun bit. You're gonna, people yeah. are going to enjoy that one. <laughs> <laughs> when right, I reference y'all. cocaine, I mean, um, yeah, Coca Cola. Peace out. Thank you guys. Cheers. <laughs>